But hey, it's time for us to have the final conversation on yes. the show this morning. Mm -hmm. And it's with Funebi Odede. I really hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> I did. Odede. Uh? Odede. 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 Funebi Odede. Odede. Yeah. Uh, professionally known as Fonclef. He is a singer, songwriter, record producer and a performing artist. Of course, and we definitely were blessed with his vocals earlier on as he was performing one of his songs. What was the name of that single again? You Came In My Life. You Came In My Life. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. You came into our lives, and we're happy to have you here. <laughs> I'm glad to be that here. That is cheesy. Titi, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Titi. <laughs> yeah, I'm she's definitely rubbing off. Thank you very much for having me. It, it's so good to have you here. Now, your, yeah. your career, it spans quite across several years. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. there's something interesting that has been happening lately. Folks who have been in the industry for a very long time yeah. seem to be getting their big break bit by bit. This started mm -hmm. about two years ago, mm -hmm. and it's now becoming a trend where an artist gets that breakout song, mm -hmm. and then you find out that they've been in the industry for like yeah, 10, for 15 wow. years. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so oh, is that part of your plans too? What, what do you think is responsible for this? For this, I think it's consistency. Mm. Yeah, being consistent, like you know, I don't, I don't think there's any, any, anyone who has gotten that big break that just, like, just a, f a handful mm. oh, okay. of okay. artists that got that big break without mm. like really doing the work, mm -hmm. like, yes, that long. Doing the groundwork. Yeah. I think that actually makes a lot of sense because the truth is, right, especially now and these days, like a lot of artists, we're going back to that era where artists literally are doing their homework. Do you understand? Yeah. Getting, yeah. do you understand? Get studying the music, mm -hmm. writing their own to. songs. <laughs> do you understand? They are literally yeah. bringing out the songs from within them. And I think it's actually amazing. So tell us about your journey. What was your journey like? I mean, starting off, a lot of people talk about how, oh, they were in the church choir and all of that. How was it for you? Was that the story as well? That's quite similar ah. to mine. <laughs> okay. I, I started from, like, I grew up in the music home like in a christian home okay. where most of my siblings are mm -hmm. artists are, are, are singers not singers artists, yeah. okay singers okay. and back then we used to have this group mm -hmm. where we sing to mm -hmm. like we remix already existing songs and then oh. we try to record them using walkman oh, and yeah. over the years mm -hmm. i got like i got access to professional tools to make music and then I was able to like develop my skills from oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. has music always been the thing or you had to go to school, study something else, maybe run your career to a particular point and then you decided, okay, it's time for me to do music. music or has, has it always, always been, been a constant for in you? my life, oh, yeah. Amazing. Like mm -hmm. always. Uh -huh. you know, always, yeah. So you've never worked another job? Because I know music is no. expensive. Mm -hmm. There has to be something funding the music. Mm -hmm. So how are you managing to Everything fund I do it? has been like around the music. entertainment okay. space, yeah. Okay. Music, entertainment, and some other skills I learned was like due to trying to acquire skills to like back up my Music, yeah, yeah, music, like, yeah. career, and all So, that. like, and then I was, I've been able to, like, you know, mm -hmm. generate revenue from those other mm -hmm. sources as well. Yes, right. sources. So now, I mean, music for you has been lifelong. However, being a recording artist, literally started starting 2019, right? So tell us about this. Recording, 2019, no. No. 20, 2009. 2009, 2009. excuse me. So tell us about that journey. What, what was it really like? What were the struggles, the challenges up to this point? You know... You know, from, from this side of the world, we, mm -hmm. we, one of the things we are lacking is, is um, like access to, to tools. Mm -hmm. So at some point, I left Port Harcourt and then I moved to Bayosa. And in order for me to like gain access to these tools, I had to work in a studio as a music producer. Mm -hmm. no, okay. So in order for me to like gain access and then mm -hmm. record my own songs. Mm -hmm. I was like walking in the studio day and night, all like day, night, day, night. I didn't even have a house mm -hmm. in Biosa, so I had to like live in the studio wow. and then get these things done. And you I know, was okay. able to, all, like, all of these commitments, at some point, mm -hmm. they, they do pay off. I, yes. I know for sure that you, you did an um, album with uh, Eriga. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You featured yes. in three of the songs on his yes. is it EP or album or so. <laughs> Album. Uh, Enigma. I think that yeah. was 2018, 2019. Yeah, 2019. However, yeah. I dare say your biggest collaboration is one in which you had uh, your wife feature yeah. in your video, yeah. your music video. <laughs> <laughs> what song is that? I think it's 
It must be love. It must it be must love. Be it must be love. This must be love. This yeah. must be love. This must be love. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. You know what? Let, let, let's take a look at that. Oh, that's it. Okay. Amazing. I mean, I think it's amazing literally hearing you literally go from covers mm -hmm. to your own thing. I literally seeing how even the covers you do have kind of similarly, um, similarly sound like your own sound. Yeah. So if you were to explain and describe your sound, what would you say you want your sound to be? I make alternative soul. Alternative with, soul, yeah, okay. Afro influence. All right, alternative soul with, with Afro, Afro influence. influence. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take you back to that video we just watched, talking mm. about you and your wife working together. Now, is it yes. something that had always been the case? Maybe you guys met through work, or is, is it just that she's been really supportive with your career? How has the collaboration between you both been, besides the fact that you're married? Mm. Yeah, we, we didn't meet through work. Okay. But, but we, we've always had this thing for like entertainment and media. Mm. And she has been really, 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 really supportive. Yeah. Career. Yeah. Like, like she's currently my manager. Ah, ah. amazing. And amazing. Right now she's backstage. <laughs> <laughs> the most important things. All right. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now for you, what would you say is next? What's the next? What are we doing right now? Do you have any projects in the works? Yeah, yeah. I have I have an album that I just put out recently. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Voice Memo. Voice yeah. Memo. Okay. There are songs from my like my recordings. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you notice one of that song I performed, yes. Mm -hmm. That's like one of the songs from Voice Memo. Yeah. Okay. Like literally recorded stuff recorded from my okay. iPhone and then okay. I just put them wow. out. That's why they have that short length. Wow, oh. okay, yeah. amazing. So is that is that your story? I mean, I know we have a talk about how attention span is not that long this day. So is that a strategy you yeah, actually use to get people? Yeah. Okay, it's part of it. Amazing. So now I think very interestingly, right, there's a song you have, which actually starts with Nigeria, we hail thee. It's very important in this yeah. time. So tell us a little bit about that one. So... It was this day I was, <laughs> it was this day I was going to the gym on my mm -hmm. way to the gym because mm -hmm. I love fitness. Mm -hmm. On my way to the gym, I was like, during that period where the, where they changed the, the national, national anthem, anthem. Yeah, right. and I was like, how do I feel about this situation? Situation mm -hmm. and how, I, then before we were able to like mm -hmm. learn the lyrics of the new national anthem. Yes. How do I? Working out physically yeah. and working it out mentally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so I, I decided to like put it in a way where I'll be able to sing the national anthem mm -hmm. and then express you know, yeah, yourself. express how I feel about Okay. Can you just give us okay, a Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the chorus the chorus yeah. is Nige the normal Nigeria, mm, yeah. we hail the mm. Nigeria, we hail the Nigeria, we hail thee. My country too rough, but he no go kill us. That bridge, yes. Can go check uh -huh. it out. It's DSP. So, right now, all I can think of is Shawama. Because <laughs> <laughs> wow. we are about to head straight to the kitchen for breakfast. So we have breakfast for you. Mm -hmm. Come in, Shawama, courtesy yeah. chef. I've been hungry. Yeah.